Continuing severe weather coverage. Water was rushing into a gas station last night in Boardman. In fact, the water was bubbling out of a manhole cover near the shell at the corner of Tippecanoe and Route 224 last night. The water rose and surrounded the pumps. Cars driving by created waves in that water. That's a problem, Mary. In fact, it started to rain there again today as the emergency management agency was out looking at damage from yesterday's storms. I followed them to find out what they were looking for and how it could help. Six teams are out in Canfield Township, City, and Boardman looking at flood damage. They would just write down the address, if it was a home, apartment, or condo, if they rent or own, and the big question, if they had insurance. We're not collecting a lot. We're not structural engineers. We're not assessing that. We're not assessing the uh, dollar amount of loss. What we're assessing is uh, requirements uh, to meet our just declaration to see if we meet our uh, criteria. They need to find 25 homes or businesses with major damage or destroyed. 40% of them have to have no flood insurance since this was a flood event. Jamie Holt didn't believe that would be too difficult to find. My insurance said that we didn't have flood insurance in the area. I didn't actually know that when I moved here. Now with standing water in her home, she's hoping for a callback from a cleanup company. Called three places. They're so backed up, you know, which is expectable. So, so yeah, it's Friday. Maybe someone will start coming out with the fans. And there are different criteria to meet when evaluating for windstorms or other types of weather events. This is a look for damage caused by flooding. The first level of aid would be low interest loans to help people make repairs but it could go much higher. This damage assessment will help us compile that to see what type of assistance, whether it is SBA assistance or we get an actual disaster declaration where we can get some potentially federal assistance in here. Now the assessment teams will work across Route 224 the rest of the week. They know there's damage in Poland. If you have damage from the storms, you can report it. Just call 211.